This tutorial provides examples of how to load Pandas data frames into TensorFlow. You will use a small heart disease dataset provided by the UCI Machine Learning Repository. There are several hundred rows in the CSV. Each row describes a patient, and each column describes an attribute. You will use this information to predict whether a patient has heart disease, which is a binary classification task. Download the CSV file containing the heart disease dataset. Read the CSV file using pandas. This is what the data looks like. You will build models to predict the label contained in the target column. If your data has a uniform data type or type, it's possible to use a pandas data frame anywhere you could use a number py array. This works because the pandas data frame class supports the underscore underscore array underscore underscore protocol and tensorflow's tf.convert underscore to underscore tensor function accepts objects that support the protocol. Take the numeric features from the dataset, skip the categorical features for now. The data frame can be converted to a number py array using the data frame dot values property or numpy. Array, df. To convert it to a tensor, use tf.convert underscore to underscore tensor. In general, if an object can be converted to a tensor with tf.convert underscore to underscore tensor it can be passed anywhere you can pass a tf tensor. With model.fit a data frame, interpreted as a single tensor, can be used directly as an argument to the model.fit method. Below is an example of training a model on the numeric features of the dataset. The first step is to normalize the input ranges. Use a tf.caras.layers normalization layer for that. To set the layer's mean and standard deviation before running it be sure to call the normalization.adapt method. Call the layer on the first three rows of the data frame to visualize an example of the output from this layer. Use the normalization layer as the first layer of a simple model. When you pass the data frame as the X argument to model.fit, Keras treats the data frame as it would a number PY array. If you want to apply tf.data transformations to a data frame of a uniform type, the dataset dot from underscore tensor underscore slices method will create a dataset that iterates over the rows of the data frame. Each row is initially a vector of values. To train a model, you need inputs, labels, pairs, so pass, features, labels, and dataset dot from underscore tensor underscore slices will return the needed pairs of slices. When you start dealing with heterogeneous data, it is no longer possible to treat the data frame as if it were a single array. TensorFlow tensors require that all elements have the same type. So, in this case, you need to start treating it as a dictionary of columns, where each column has a uniform type. A data frame is a lot like a dictionary of arrays, so typically all you need to do is cast the data frame to a Python dict. Many important TensorFlow APIs support, nested, dictionaries of arrays as inputs. tf.data input pipelines handle this quite well. All tf.data operations handle dictionaries and tuples automatically. So, to make a dataset of dictionary examples from a data frame, just cast it to a dict before slicing it with dataset.from underscore tensor underscore slices. Here are the first three examples from that dataset. Typically, Keras models and layers expect a single input tensor, but these classes can accept and return nested structures of dictionaries, tuples, and tensors. These structures are known as nests, refer to the tf.nest module for details. There are two equivalent ways you can write a Keras model that accepts a dictionary as input. You write a subclass of tf.keras model. You directly handle the inputs and create the outputs. You write a subclass of tf.keras model. You directly handle the inputs and create the outputs. This model can accept either a dictionary of columns or a dataset of dictionary elements for training. Here are the predictions for the first three examples.